Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Apollo Smart Museum. Normally I save these videos and these monthly recaps just for our token holders, although I wanted to release the full March one for everyone, uh, for the entire public to see. And this one is coming a little bit late. You know, we had our first year ever end in the middle of March, so there was a bunch of hectic things going on. But I was finally able to put together all, all the statistics, whether it's the top five pieces. We're, look, we're gonna look at archive growth, we're gonna look at follower growth, we're gonna look at the top four pieces by artist ranking, and then we're gonna look at our overall pie graph for the artist ranking as well. So let's jump right into it. So we are going to start off with the archive growth. So let me just hop over here. So you'll see for the full month here, we had about, yeah, it was about it was about 27 works here. So you'll see we started, we ended, we ended February with 325 pieces in the archive, and then we ended the full month of March with about 352 pieces in the archive. So we had some really good growth here. You know, I was taking some breaks because I was just trying to look at the macro and our full story of Apollo so far. But you know, just just like always, we have that steady, steady growth up, and we are just continuing, continually adding to the archive as well. So the next one we're gonna look at is gonna be our artist representation rate. And so that means we are gonna be looking at artists by their follower growth. Quick recap, the underserved artists are gonna be 3,000 or less followers. Anchor artists have 3,000 to 10,000 followers. Established artists have 10,000 to 50,000 and prestige artists have 50,000 followers and up. So that's really just how we how we represent the representation of the artist within uh, the full archive. So you'll see we have it for the full month right here and then we have it to date as well. So you'll see that our goal is 20 to 25% underserved artists per month. And so that is our normal goal. And we've always been able to hit that. However, for this month, we did fall short of that. Like I said, it was a pretty crazy month. I wasn't looking too closely at our day-to-day -day representation rates. And so the anchor artists kind of ate up a bit more showcases. So my apologies for that. We're gonna hit a lot better in April and we'll see how that looks as well. And you'll see the established artists, 23%. And then the prestige artists, we had about 30% as well. So the anchor artists and the prestige artists really made up a lot of March. But like I said, next month we'll do better on that one and give our underserved artists a bit more appreciation. So whenever we plug that into the greater, greater full archive, as I said, we ended with 352 pieces. So if we say out of the 352 pieces so far, 25% of these artists have been underserved. So that's one in four artists have 3,000 or less followers. And we have about 14% to date for Anchor, 26% for Established, and 33% for Prestiged. So we definitely need to build up the Anchor a bit more, and then of course reinforce the Prestiged. We are within our 20 to 25% rate for underserved, so I'm really proud about that. So we're just going to keep pushing and just keep serving great artists. So you'll see here we have the top piece of the month from our underserved artists. So out of all of our artists, the one that had 3,000 or less followers was Nikhil Damari. And you'll see some incredible piece coming from here. We actually have this on the page if y'all want to go check that out. And this was our top piece out of all of our underserved artists for the month. And so our top piece for our anchor artists, so anchor artists have 3,000 to 10,000 followers. You'll see it was Neon Dusk by John Josh Casper Creative, my bad. So an incredibly vibrant piece. This is actually our first piece of year two. So really, really stunning work coming from that artist. Next, we have Year of the Tiger by Pixel Jeff. This was our established artist. So 10,000 to 50,000 followers. It was Year of the Tiger. An incredible piece. One of my favorites to date. Just some incredible work coming from, from him as well. Finally, out of our prestiged artists, doesn't want to doesn't want to jump. There we go. <laughs> so you'll see is the Persian piece by Amir Zand. And we're actually going to be redoing the showcase to update it with some more accuracy. But this piece was absolutely stunning. It blew up. You know, people love this piece. I believe it was our second most liked out of March. So really incredible work. As I said before, the original showcase I said it was Assyria, but it's actually Persian. So I'm going to be updating that and we're going to redo that showcase to get it live to just give some more respect to the original artist because that was our mistake. So finally, we're going to be taking a look at our top feast, top five pieces of the month. So the number one most liked piece of the month was Be Not Afraid by FIFA. And incredible themes of this divine, divine archangel here. You know, just incredible. 
Second most liked peak, I said before, is going to be the Persian piece coming from Amir Zan. Some incredible work coming from this artist, and I always love showcasing Zan's art. Next is going to be a colored piece from Neon Genesis Evangelion by Yoshiyuki Sadamoto. So this piece was quite popular, really. I guess a lot of people love uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion because they just flocked to this piece and it was it was a ton of likes. Some really interesting kind of pincer effects on this. And we're going to be doing a, a video showcase of that here in the coming weeks. So that's exciting as well. So this was the third most liked piece of the month. Finally, we're going to take a look at the fourth liked piece. This was going to be Tracer Experience by Flavio Carvalho. And this really got in here because it's a satisfying GIF. You know, everyone loves that type of stuff. So they flocked to that one as well, and they loved it. You know, really meditative visual experience, and it really draws you in with that as well. So that was the fourth most liked piece of the month. Finally, the fifth most liked piece of the month is going to be A, that is one weird-looking horse. This was by the artist Jocelyn Carms, and just some amazing, amazing work. This really drew me in. Of course, you'll notice that contrast on there, the divine symbolism of the deer, and everything in between. So that was our fifth most liked piece of the month. So we had one, two, three, fourth, and fifth piece of the month. So some incredible works, and I, it was an absolute pleasure to study these ones as well. So finally, we're going to take a look at our follower growth of the month. All right, so here we have for the full month of March, incredible follower growth. We started March with about 3,200 followers, and then we ended March upwards of over 3,400. So just some really good growth there, just kept stepping up, kept stepping up. And then I actually took that and I plugged that into our follower growth to date. I added a little bit of April, so you'll see kind of a big reference there. So this is all of January. This is going to be all of February, and you'll see I had the red markings for March there. So this is March. You'll notice that iconic kind of curve up. And then we also see that as well. That's where March is. And then this has been April so far. So it just keeps steadily going up. You know, we are trying to secure that 4K as soon as possible to give as many eyes to the artists we showcase as possible. So some incredible, incredible stuff. It was an incredible month for our follower growth. Welcome everyone to the Apollo Art Exchange if you are new here. And if you're an artist and you just joined, you can submit some of our art on our Instagram profile. There's going to be a link there. I'll also put the link down below if you want to check that out. Just some incredible, incredible month coming from here. Next, we're going to be doing our April showcase, so be on the look for out for that. That's actually just going to be for our token holders. So if you guys want to support the Apollo Art Exchange a little bit closer, we do have that option as well. So follower growth keeps going up, and it's been absolutely incredible. So I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Apollo. This was the Apollo Smart Museum, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Apollo Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.